Oh. Hi, guys. Let's learn about raffle tickets. Let's learn about giveaways. My name is Machine Dana. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, it's going to be all about how we can set up raffles and giveaways automatically on your Streamlabs Online account through Twitch or through YouTube Gaming. Raffles and giveaways are a really cool way of enhancing the engagement with your audience. And of course, the smooth running of those raffles can make or break whether or not they're actually worthwhile doing for you. So in this video, it'll be a short tutorial of exactly how you can set them up and how you can get the best from the raffles or the giveaways. In Streamlabs Online, they're called giveaways, but it's basically the same thing as a raffle. And you can do it for merch, you can do it for... Uh, other things, custom things, and also, of course, for your channel loyalty points. I have done other videos on channel and loyalty points, so feel free to look in the description below at those. Enjoy! Okay, so for those of you that are unfamiliar with Streamlabs OBS and the way it integrates with Streamlabs Online, Streamlabs OBS is purely the streaming software that you can use from Streamlabs. Uh, it's sort of reskinned over the top of OBS. It's essentially used a fork of the OBS Studio software, but it integrates a lot of the widgets and functions that you get from Streamlabs Online, sort of interwoven within the software. As a result, you get a pretty neat integration between Streamlabs Online and Streamlabs OBS, but you can use the functions and widgets and browser sources and that sort of stuff from Streamlabs Online in other pieces of streaming software, for example, in OBS XSplit. And these bots work for YouTube gaming and certainly for Twitch as well. Well, I'm going to be demonstrating today on Twitch. So first to enable giveaways, you're going to have to register for Streamlabs Online and set up an account. You can set your account at streamlabs.com and you can use your Twitch credentials to log into Streamlabs. When you get into the software, you, you can download the software using this icon here and the CloudBot function is what we're keen on here. CloudBot is the online chatbot tool. I've used CloudBot for about six months now and I found it really, really useful. What you're gonna need to do is navigate to CloudBot. If you can't find it in the list here because they sometimes change the navigation around, just search it in the search bar or something like that. Make sure that CloudBot is toggled on and don't forget to mod Streamlabs in your own chat, whether that's in Twitch or in YouTube Gaming, by typing forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat and pressing enter. That will mod CloudBot essentially to your streaming profile. And from there, there's a number of different things you can look at. Modules, I would certainly recommend looking at all the different modules, things like chat alerts, media share, 8ball. I've done tutorials on all of these, so feel free to browse through my playlists. There's loads of different other functions though, and we're concerned today with giveaways. Now, if you've got merch enabled on your channel using the merch function on the left-hand side here, you can do automatic giveaways for merch. I'm not gonna be covering merch giveaways today, but you would do it through this section here. You can look at the history and the settings Things. Today we're looking at custom giveaways. You can see I've done a number of different ones, raffle giveaways for loyalty points, but Steam vouchers, I did a 100 follower giveaway and a number of others. So it does show all of your previous giveaways. They sort of stay here as boilerplates or templates to be used in future again. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to add giveaway. We'll go to custom and here's where we do all the settings. First we give a name for the giveaway, 1 million follower giveaway. We can choose whether we want this on a timer or not, uh, whereby it will have an applicable raffle period where people can enter into it. And after that period ends, no one else can enter that raffle or you can just disable it and have it live. You can set the permissions for who can actually enter the giveaways. Just to give you a flavor, you've got subscribers, subscribers and mods or everyone. And then we've got to enter a description of what the actual prize is with a maximum characters of 100. It's not really that many considering the size of the, uh, <laughs> the box that we've got. Um, toy Ferrari, just in case anyone's expecting an actual Ferrari. So we've now got the description and everything in place. We're going to the advanced. We can actually hear say they've got to be a follower to win. Ticket cost. Now this is the amount in loyalty points. You can make it completely free to enter the raffle, or you can actually have it so that they deduct an amount from their loyalty points. If you don't know what loyalty point system are, you can see it grayed out here, but that's where you would set up the loyalty points system. So you can set a price to that. I'm going to leave it for free for now. You can also say maximum picket tickets per user. So if you set a cost on this, you'll be able to charge multiples of that if you put the maximum number of tickets up. You can incentivize new subscribers by giving them more than one raffle ticket entry by clicking the one here. Uh, and non-subscriber bonuses, you could do a non-subscriber raffle I mean, I don't know if that really makes sense. Well, who's going to run a raffle just for non-subscribers? You're supposed to incentivize people to pay you to watch you. What? I don't I don't get this. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. 
whatever. So we're going to just go ahead and add that. They don't seem very advanced, those. Now, what we're going to do now, we can we can then start the giveaway by clicking the giveaway. Now, that starts the timer to count down if you've added a timer there. Or if you've not added a timer, it will open it until you close it. You can manually close the entries early if you've got a timer. Or if you've not set a timer, here is where you would close the entries. Okay, so we've got the chat open here on the right-hand side. And we've got the raffle or giveaway on the left-hand side from Streamlabs. So if we just start the raffle again we could see the bot has come up with a command in chat a ferrari a toy ferrari has started so uh <laughs> you can customize these messages and i'll show you exactly where you can do that later on in the video it says here use raffle to enter the raffle so i'm just gonna try that okay so we get a message back from the cloud bot to say machine den you've received two tickets to the active raffle i got two tickets because you automatically by default get a tier three subscription to your own channel so i've received two tickets but if somebody was not subscribed they would only get one ticket and we can see a confirmation of not just the number of tickets but exactly who has joined the raffle in this left hand side there's a total number of users and total number of tickets sold here if i was a non-subscriber and i was to enter this raffle it would say my name here and it would say one uh, ticket allocated to them with the settings that I provided. We get the confirmation, so they're pretty good if you turn them on. At this point, people can join the raffle and they'll receive the number of tickets based on whether or not they're subscribed. Now, you can either choose to let the timer run and it will say automatically that the raffle is closed, or you can close entries manually just by clicking the close entries. We get a confirmation to say you can no longer enter the raffle. Now, at this point, we've got the option to pick winner, so we literally can just select a winner by clicking winner and it will randomly select from the list. We've only got one in the list here, so it'll be me that's gets the, the win. We get a confirmation within Streamlabs of who the winner is. You also get a confirmation in the chat as well. So and so Machine Daniel has won a Ferrari. A toy Ferrari. Oh, okay. That's a shame. <laughs> So that fundamentally is how you set up and run the actual raffle itself. We're just going to talk a little bit about customizations now to this. You can also click complete, which will, it doesn't actually do much. It just says it's finished, but it, it doesn't really do anything because you still have the follower giveaway here and you can still restart this giveaway. All it does is just mark it on CloudBot as being a completed raffle. You don't even get any chat confirmations because the chat confirmation happens when you close the entries not when you complete the giveaway i don't really know what the point in that is to be quite honest so that's running the raffle itself we're now going to go into commands and the default commands now the default commands for raffles are exclamation point raffle open raffle close raffle and cancel raffle and these join the active raffle they start accepting the raffle entries they stop accepting raffle entries or they cancel the raffle so your mods if you've chosen to allow them to have permission to do so or yourself are able to use these commands to open raffles and cancel and close raffles so you don't necessarily need to give access to Streamlabs or to man manually do this yourself but you of course do have the option using the ui that i showed just a second ago but we can also customize these default messages as well if we don't want it to say for instance raffle we, we could have it as giveaway instead but we can also customize the response now one small tip here i've put forward slash me in there and all that does is it colors the bot text the same color as the bot's name and that's why this text is viewable as purple you can edit all of these messages and i'll just give you a flavor for what these are so that's the prizes started for whoever the permissions are subscribers for example it might say use the command to enter the raffle and it just pulls in the, the name of your command that you've given it it also this message in particular pulls in all the the costs and stuff like that from the loyalty you can customize all of these messages i'm not going to go into them all but it it does make a big difference i would also recommend putting some emojis in there as well uh just just any kind of emojis i typically would use emojipedia.org but you can use whatever and that just enhances the experience a little bit for people that are in the in the raffle so there you have it. That's how you set up raffles. That's how to make the most of them. Um, really keen to know how you guys use these, particularly if you've got any creative ideas, drop them in the comments below. If you found it useful, give me a like. If you want to subscribe, feel free to. Also, you can check me out daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Uh, yeah, happy streaming, guys. See you later.